is it going, my lovely cardinal sinners? Is it that time of the week again where we sit down and laugh at the sillier, messier, and more broken side of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? You bet your sweet ass it is. And this time, we're going to do episode 17 for real. <gasps> Unlike last time, which was episode 16, and I incorrectly labeled it. How broken is Doom at editing? Apparently, it's quite a lot. This time, we get to see a turbo duel featuring our favorite turbo duelist. You say Fudo, and he's dueling a mysterious duelist who you've definitely not seen before. Nope, never seen before. Ignore the fact their deck is meant to specifically counter my beloved Jack Atlas. That is not a clue or anything. Sit back, relax, and let's take a look at how broken is Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's episode 17 for reals this time. Also known in Japan as, get ready for some spoilers here, Flame Revenger, Speed King Skull Flame. Wow, I wonder if we know anyone who uses those cards. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we're all still re Hold up, what is going on with the signs right here? Sagittarius, April Sheep, Float Sparrow, Good Job, Feb Kitten? Jack Atlas looking all sexy like. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, it's just a doom mood board. Like if you just took random words from my brain and put them on a screen, it, it would look like this. Yeah, yeah. What do you know about this Shira? A couple of fellas I know had some run-ins with a guy a few years back in the underground duels. According to them, he wasn't exactly a fan of playing nice. Did they, Tanner? How would they know that? As far as I know, this guy is supposed to be made up specifically for this tournament to trick Yusei and not Hunter in a costume. So, like, has Hunter been running around in this costume for years fucking people up? Because that would be wild. Alternatively, Tanner is a liar or just knows it's Hunter but is feeding Yusei weird information. You know what? I question Tanner. I question him hard here. Back then, he was calling himself the Shadow Reaper. <laughs> Apparently, he never takes off those creepy robes of his. Tana, you would be lying again. That's obviously fucking Hunter. We've seen him without the ropes. I get this is just them trying to be like, oh, he's this mysterious, scary duelist, but like, I feel like Tana's a liar. I don't think he made that knight costume. And lying about costumes, well, that's just not on, mate. You planning on using Stardust Dragon? I'm saving Stardust for my duel against Jack, and when I face him, he's gonna wish he never gave it back to me. Shit, man, is you see gonna get all kinky when he duels Jack? Is he gonna summon Stardust Dragon against Jack? Uh, oh, hold up a minute. I, I I need a minute. I got myself excited again. Jack Atlas, I can't believe you didn't invite me to your little party. Then again, it's gonna be fun crashing it. Oh, Hunter isn't disguised yet, so Shira is a real guy. Ah, fuck. We owe Tanner an apology. I'll get the ukulele. Coming through! We got trouble. Halt! Stop right there! Trudge would do a better job. I'm just saying. God, I think I miss Trudge. I hope he's doing okay. Don't worry about the guards who are definitely about to die. <laughs> After him! This way! What asshole drives through a building on a motorcycle? What the fuck is this shit? All right. Now to get out of here. Uh, that doesn't count. The building was mostly empty, and Trudge did it too, so shut up! We got this corridor blocked off. Get over to the east side! You heard the man! I uh, don't think you do. I don't think you outspeed the motorcycle and blocked off the building. Boy, I sure hope it isn't Hunter in a disguise. That would suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> Fuck! I never saw it coming! You see! That hunter is too fast for eyes. Need you to get Yusei as worked up as possible so his mark appears. Lazar. Lazar, buddy, I I think I'd be more suited to this task. I'm uh I'm pretty good at getting Yusei worked up. No 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 bring out a spray bottle! I hate the spray bottle! Don't expect this to be easy. That satellite knows what he's doing. Yeah, he sure does. He sure fucking does. Someone defeated Jack in a duel! <laughs> What just happened? How does one even throw a card to make that happen? Oh fucking shit, watch out, curving cards! You've got rats. Did he just fucking kill Hunter? There was a slashing noise, so like, is Hunter dead? What is going on? Also, good sir, don't be so mysterious and sexy. I'm weak-willed! Skills should not be taken lightly. <laughs> so you say defeated Jack. <laughs> what the fuck? That 
Batman was out for blood, Jesus like Hunter literally would have died without the helmet. Also, how the fuck do you defeat someone who can curve cards and defy gravity? This man's really fucking cool. Let's go get some cotton candy or something. The duel's about to start. No, Leo, we're not getting out our seats. Climbing over the crowd, getting you cotton candy, just as the duel is about to start. Sit your ass down and wait for you, says duel. Hmm. I wonder what Goodwin wants with you, say. First he lets him out of the facility, then he invites him to this tournament. It just seems fishy. Tanner once again being weirdly spot on about what's going on for no real reason. Maybe we should just trust Tanner. Maybe he was a knight that one time. All right, everybody, are you ready? It's time for the Fortune Cup's first Turbo Duel. He's the spunky punk trying to get from third to first class. He's the little satellite who could. Dueling fans, I give you, you say. So, sorry, did he just say spunky punk? Because I can't deal with spunk and you say in the same sentence. I'm sorry, I'm British. So if you know that slang, you'll get this joke. Anyway, something, something, little satellite that could choo choo, you say choo choo. God, I'd want to ride you say's train. Oh my lord, he's so majestic. He's no good. Go back to the satellite, loser. You're out of your league, slacker. A bro, I will fuck you up. How dare you say bad things about my beloved Yusei Fudo. He's beautiful, he's sexy, he's already beat Jack Atlas. Get a grip, guys. Also, I love the secret GX writing sneaking in there with the slacker. Yeah, man, Yusei, come on, join us in Slifer Red. Come on, man. We'll take real good care of you. Like, really fucking good care. Oh my god, fucking spray bottle! Let's see if you can even make it past your first duel. Jack, sweetie, my beloved, sexy man. Uh, he beat you last time you dueled, so by that logic, he is better than you. Jack, sweetie, you're so simple. Let us down, Shira. Show that punk he's not welcome here. Guys, that's elitist. Stop doing that. Also, I love how they have, like, no idea how Hunter would take him to fight, so they just don't show it. Oh, hey, guys, we want Hunter to take this guy's costume and pretend he's him. You think you can make that happen? Sir, we made him so cool he can curve cards, kill a person with said curved cards, and gave him a sexy one-liner with a sexy voice. Okay, yeah, so you can make it work. How the fuck do you take that man? I don't get it. Why are these jerks putting down Yusei? They don't even know him. And Leo learned a valuable lesson about the internet who will hate you without knowing a damn thing about you. Welcome to both classism and the internet, Leo. You will not enjoy your stay. Okay, let's see what you're made of, satellite. Oh god, Zig Zig jump scare. Also, Zig Zig, there's a whole episode where the warden like stripped, you say, scanned him with machines, got really up close and personal with Mr. Fudo, and he didn't figure out shit. So what are you and your grabby grabby hands gonna do? With both duelists at the starting line, there's just one thing left to do. Gents, start your runners! Good sir, it's let's rev it up! Let's kick this duel into turbo! Fucking use the one-liners, come on man, I need it to live! Huh? Hey, that man's revving his engine in a way I recognize. He can't kill me by curving trading cards. I'm being manipulated! Huh? <gasps> <laughs> surprise, surprise! Didn't expect to see me out here, did ya? That quickly? He revealed his disguise that quickly? What was the fucking point? Now I get why they were making a big deal saying it's the point of no return, because apparently no one can stop a turbo duel once both players have activated the field spell. So once again, I need to point out how fucking stupid card games on motorcycles are if you literally can't stop the duel till someone loses. This is so fucking dangerous. Is the mother of all surprises! That's not Shira. That's the former champion, the mad biker! The Phantom of Fire! It's... It's Hunter Pace! Okay, thank you, Mr. Announcement. I now understand the situation, and I am gobsmacked. I thought it was a sexy assassin guy, but no, it's just Hunter. Damn, bro. Will we ever see Shearer in another episode? Because I like, kind of like the guy from that one interaction we had where he murdered someone with a trading card. See, I really like murderous people. Have you met Adachi, my beloved 5.0? I'm afraid we have a bit of a situation. He just snuck up behind me. 
Hey, wait a fucking second. I thought this man was all cool and sexy and like now he's got a lame ass voice and he got decked out by Hunter. Also, they forgot to cover a couple of the training cards so there's just two of them lying there that are the wrong cards. Also, this motherfucker was gonna duel in a GX duel disc. Did you just borrow that from Zane? Fuck it, this is adult Zane and you can't tell me otherwise. This man went from sexy to I don't give a shit in the space of two seconds and I will never recover from this. Are you gonna accept my challenge? Or are you gonna back down in front of all these excited people? <laughs> Are you a little bitch? Because if you're a little bitch, you won't accept the stool. So you say, are you a little bitch? What do you think, you say? You game to duel Hunter Pace? Trust me, you didn't want to duel Shira. That guy's a real bore. I wouldn't know Hunter because you gave him one line of dialogue and insane actions. Maybe he is a bore. I couldn't fucking say. His Yu-Gi-Oh wiki tells me he's meant to be so cool that anyone who duels him never duels again out of fear. That doesn't sound boring. But also, I just saw him like half naked like a little bitch. So, you know, he could be boring. Hmm. Let's do this. You say Fudo is in fact not a little bitch and is instead sexy as all hell. Oh my god, I have been starved for you say Fudo and his sexy ass voice for way too fucking long and I cannot hold in the degen anymore. Look, I know I keep doing this this episode, but these signs are absolutely sending me. Starman, good gob. Are, are they just subtly describing you say Fudo to me? Because if so, I'm interested. Uh, I'm not sure if this is, a. Uh, I, well, uh... If you're waiting for my approval, well then... <sighs> oh my god, he was so aggressive initially. I was, like, scared for the announcer man, and then he was, like, the softest, most gentle approval I've ever seen. But this tournament is kind of whack. Firstly, we had Leo pretend to be Luna, and they were like, yeah, that's fine. Now we've got Hunter pretending to be Shearer after running him over, and they're like, yeah, that's cool. There are no fucking rules to this tournament. I draw, and from my hand, I summon Burning Skullhead in attack mode. Then I end my turn by placing three cards face down. Hunter, I thought you got some new moves, but that's basic bitch punter play right there. Come on, bro. And I summon Speed Warrior in attack mode. You say it goes draw phase, then main phase one. You skipped a draw phase, buddy. See, by taking away all my burning skull heads attack points, I can make it invulnerable to attacks. So you can't destroy it in battle. Whoa! Talk about a turn of events! He saved his monster, but Hunter's been slammed with 1,800 points of damage! Why would he willingly take such a big hit? You see it, Nagi? It's called masochism, and he's really into it, okay? We don't judge around here. After taking that much damage at once, his speed counter should drop, right? Leo, does the speed counter go down when you get hit? It has been a hot minute since I watched a turbo duel, and I didn't really understand speed counters back then, so it's Wild West, fam. I got no clue. I give you the Doom Accelerator Trap. Thanks to this puppy, I'll be gaining one speed counter for every 500 points of damage I take in battle. Oh, don't worry, Leo. I had a trap card to deal with that, so it didn't matter, and we'll still never understand speed counters. People in the comments, explain them to me now. Also, when I pause this, we realized that sitting behind the Protec crew would, like, actually suck. See, how many of their heads actually block the view of the track? Hey babe, what's happening in the duel? Fuck if I know, all I can see is old man hair and a little Miss Pigtails, and they're not moving. It's like they're glued together or something. Hey Hunter, I never stopped being your fan! Is Tool Academy just visiting this tournament? Because I swear Mr. Fanboy over here is in a raw yellow inspired jacket, and then we got Obelisk Blue next to him. Give me my Slifer Slacker rep already! Not a bad play, Hunter. But it'll take more than that to shake me. Oh, yeah, you say? We, we gotta burn a little harder to get you going. It's from all that uh, endurance training with the shaking of the bike, isn't it? So say hello to Skull Base! Skull Base is the most simple and correct Yu-Gi-Oh card I've ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh. It is both a skull and a base, and it makes sense. Unlike number 37, Hope Woman Dragon Spider Shark. By kicking Skull Base and burning Skull Head to the curb, I can advance summon Skull Flame! What the fuck is an advanced summon? That's not terminology I understand. Man, you really need to get that Yugo terminology guide done, because even I'm getting lost now. Sorry, kid, but I'm here to duel Jack Atlas again and regain my title. And well, you say, you're blocking my way! You already drew for turn, why are you drawing again? Excuse me, I need a judge over here because you definitely already drew. Rex, is Hunter allowed an additional draw for no reason? Waiting for my approval, well then. <sighs> what the fuck are your tournament rules? Man, Hunter's on fire! <laughs> and I'm just getting warmed up! Hunter's response here implies he heard the random guy in the crowd, at which point I'm starting to understand how he took out an assassin. Things are making sense, Hunter has super hearing. Speed booster allows you to deal damage equal to the difference between you and your opponent's speed counters multiplied by 100. 
Thank you, computer, for the basic math lesson. It's appreciated. So what I learned is two plus two makes eight. Welcome to the real world of turbo dueling, kid. If you can't keep up, you're gonna get left behind. <laughs> Left behind or like literally set on fire because right now you're just gonna set Yusei on fire and I like fire and Yusei is lit, but not in this way. I came here to burn rubber and take names, you say, and no one is gonna stop me from winning the chance to reclaim my title. See, when I was the number one rank- Dude, you should've said a witty one line or not go into a whole spiel about your background. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god, are you still going? Gotta dish out damage hard and fast, so get ready to feel the heat! All right, you can tell this guy's dual Jack Atlas. Only someone who's been absolutely wrecked by Jack Atlas would talk like this. Did you say just crack a smile? Leo has supervision confirmed because how the fuck did you see that? I didn't see that. Is he smiling? Did you see him smile? Why would you say smile? Inagi is like, why the fuck is that dueling addict who loves riding his bike, smiling or dueling and riding his bike? I, I just don't understand. <clears throat> Why are you smiling? And Nagi, people can be happy. I, I don't understand why Tana is smiling because he can't see what cards Yusei has and doesn't know his plan. But if I had to put money on why Tana is smiling, it's probably because he remembers using that strat back in his day. And now to turn up the heat satellite, I initiate Speed Booster Special Attack. Do you mean special ability? Because special attack isn't a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh. Fucking check your rulings before writing a script, Jesus. I'm on the fast track to glory. No one can stop me. Don't blink or you'll miss me. I'm bringing a whole new intensity to turbo dueling. I'm going to leave the entire world in my dust. Hunter, that's a great speech and all, but we all know Jack Atlas has given you PTSD from beating your uploads. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm going to, huh? You're going to what? Oh my god, you say it's just like, let me have a fucking turn. Also, the speed we're going on the track is completely irrelevant to the duel, like it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, slipstream? Oh man, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, never mind. Yusei had a really situational card that solved his problem. That's so convenient. Is that why he was smiling? Sure is. And with this card in play, Yusei might be smiling all the way to the finish line. How the fuck did Tana know you said set that? Like, how on earth did you possibly see that get set when we, the audience, who have literal alongside the bike cam, did not see it? What the fuck, Tana? I'm afraid of you. You say rules! Let's just hope he makes use of this position. Shut the fuck up, Dexter! You're so fucking negative! Good God! Go up a notch with the summon speeder spam! Not so fast! I play Slipstream! We've been watching this duel this entire time and we did not hear Yusei say that while he was going on his run. So like, when the fuck did that happen? Try to catch me now. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Incredible! Hunter Pace's speed counter has rocketed all the way to 11! Jesus, okay, I get this is a turbo duel and everything, but aside from being able to activate stronger spells, what does going this fast do for you? I think you outsmarted me by slipping in your slipstream. Whoa, Hunter, what kind of duel are we watching here? You say slipping in his slipstream? Oh, fuck, I, uh, no, no, cut, cut, I need a minute, I need a minute. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. What were you saying about you say slipping in his slipstream? I wonder if you expected me to play this, the Summon Speeder Spell card! Whoa! You say met Hunter Pace's challenge with a direct counter! It's really convenient for the second time in a row, you say has the perfectly situational card to deal with Hunter. It is wild what Protag powers do. Now with the power of Summon Speeder, I summon Quillbolt Hedgehog in defense mode and Junk Synchron in attack mode! And thanks to my Junk Synchron special ability, I can summon another monster from my graveyard! So I'm bringing back Speed Warrior! Holy shit, you say's cooking! Keep on cooking, my beloved! I fucking love it when you cook! I love how in sync you say in Speed Warrior that it mimics something in the next card. That is fucking adorable. And now I tune my Junk Synchron with my Speed Warrior to Synchro Summon Junk Warrior! You say, why are you yelling so aggressively at us? Stop it, it's making me thirsty and I'm already thirsty because I'm Jack deprived. So very, very Jack Atlas deprived. Let's rub it up. Oh cool, he said the thing, roll credits. All right, I guess you could say he's keeping pace with Hunter. Inagi, that joke's been made like 20 times this one episode. Sit down, shut up old man. I hate you so much. Remember, with that speed booster trap card, Hunter can block the same number of attacks as their difference in speed counters. All right, so since Hunter's at 11 and you say's at six, then 
Hunter's able to deflect five of Yusei's attacks? Thank you again for the basic maths lesson. Petition to have five Ds as the math syllabus in schools? I reckon they'd learn some maths. I've got to find a way to push through this! Oh yeah, you say talk dirty to us. You say yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna use that slipstream and push right on through. Hunter is totally maxed out! He doesn't get any faster than 12 speed counters, people! Oh, well, good to know. If I understood what speed counters did, I would either be in shock, dismay, or not in agreement, but I don't know which one to do, so, uh... uh, da, uh da. Also, Hunter is going double the speed of Yusei just about and has yet to lap him once, so really what's the fucking difference? It's not that fast. After Jack took my title and I failed to snatch it back, I went into hiding to undergo some serious retraining. And I realized that if I was gonna again rule the Turbo Duels, I had to put speed first. You're as good as done in a Turbo Duel if you can't fearlessly harness the awesome power of true speed. This man went into a forest and tried to not hit trees as a way to beat Jack Atlas. If I can dodge a tree, I can duel Jack Atlas. Fuck, you know what? It makes sense. It's in my hand! The end of Storm spell card! What? He has the spell card end of Storm? Le gasp. I don't really know why I'm gasping, but I want to join in with Jack. On the count of three, Jack, let's go. <gasps> what? what? I, I think you don't run any spell cards in a normal turbo duel deck because you need speed counters to play them, so 99% of the time they're bricks. So no one really expected the brick, and I'll be real, I also never expected the brick to the face. What? Jack, I just explained, bro. You should have stayed indoors today, you say? Your local forecast calls for some hardcore schooling and a whole lot of letdown with a slight chance of annihilation. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little nauseous from what appears to be spin dialogue because we're all that back. Yep, that dude is just spinning in place. Oh, fuck God, I feel sick, man. The storm destroys every monster on the field, and then we both take 300 points of damage for every monster we have. <laughs> Hear me out, fellow duelist. I know it's a board wipe, but a board wipe's that impressive in a turbo duel. Has Regeki desensitized me? Fuck you, Regeki. Wow! Hunter Base has managed to nail Yusei for 600 points of damage! But in doing so, he had to obliterate his own monster! He How does the announcer know any of this? Like, look at this shit. The bro can't see anything because the duel fields that basic bitch duels happen on blocks his view of the turbo track. How does he know what's happening? Now that the storm is blown over, I remove one skull flame in my graveyard from play. By doing so, I can summon the incredible Speed King Skull Flame to the field in attack mode! 3,000 attack points in all! That's a big card. Kaipo would be proud. Hunter Pace may be moving on in the tournament, and Jack Atlas may be getting a little scared right about now. Hmm, I don't know. Jack just looks like he's thinking really hard. You look beautiful, Jack. Never change. This duel is over, you say? Cause Speed King Skull Flame is gonna attack you directly! Well, my Scrap Iron Scarecrow should extinguish its attack! The Yusei Classic Scrap Iron Scarecrow. The boy. I fucking love when Yusei uses Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So then Hunter burns the fuck out of Yusei, and I both approve and disapprove because fire is pog, but burning Yusei is my job, so back off, bro. Come on, Yusei. Show me your mark of the dragon. Rex, thirsting over Yusei Fudo is my literal job. Back the fuck off, bro. First, I'm gonna slow this duel down a little bit with Shift Down. Yusei knows how to keep pace. He knows how to slipstream fast, slipstream slow. He just knows how to slip right on in there. I am so sorry. My mind is in the fucking gutter. Please help me. God, and I wonder why I'm single when my job is to thirst over anime boys. He decreased his speed counters. What could he be thinking? Maybe he isn't thinking. Inagi, of all the people in all of Yu-Gi-Oh to talk about someone thinking, it ain't you, bro. It just ain't you. Must be banking on his deck right now. Banking on his deck? Look, Yusei has a very good deck and he's very good at playing with it, so why not bank on it? Us fangirls sure do. That's right. Shift down may forcibly lower your speed counters by six, but the upside is that it lets you draw two cards from the top of your deck. Bro, that's the shittest pot of greed ever. Six speed counters to draw two cards. That's awful cost for, like, no profit. But watch, it's Yusei, so he's gonna draw the right cards he needs to solve all his problems. A friend Yusei never stops believing in his cards. Why does Tada, like, no cap look like he wants to be in JoJo right now? Like, what is going on here? That my speed has decreased, I can draw two more cards! And next, I summon Nitro Synchron! Now you say, Fudo, what the fuck is that? That is not sexy in any way, shape, or form. You say, take it back. I don't care if it's gonna win the duel, take it back! I'm activating the give and take trap card! Um, I wanna play give and take with you, say. 
I, I would really like that, actually. So now I'm going to give your defense a little boost and take advantage of the power that beast possesses. Well, now I just feel like this is a targeted attack on me. You can borrow the power of my beast any day, you say? May have been at the top of the ranks back in the day, Hunter. But that's only because you never faced beasts with abilities like these. You say, come on, my bad girl heart can't take all the innuendos. Just show us your beast already. I can't take the edging. So with Quillbolt Hedgehog bumped up to level 5 and Nitro Synchron already at level 2, then he can Synchro Summon a level 7 monster! Now I See, kids would be so happy solving simple maths if you taught them with 5Ds. I'm making you all smarter when you watch this with me. You are welcome. Pretty cool monster, but I can deflect your attack with Speed Booster, so there was no point in summoning that thing! Thanks, Hunter. I'm sure Yusei's got this far and had no game plan for that. Hadn't even crossed his mind. I wonder if Hunter knows that Synchro Summoning Nitro Warrior has enabled Yusei to draw another card from the top of his deck. Is that why Yusei summoned it? You got it. He's trying to get to a certain card. If Yusei needs to, like, Synchro Summon to draw cards until he hits one specific card, I hate to say it, but Yusei should be screwed and not in the fun way. Like, in the you're gonna lose the duel kind of way. But somehow he's gonna draw exactly what he needs, isn't he? And for your basic maths lesson today, Yusei has drawn four cards so far. That's four cards. Check it out, Yusei! I'm so much faster, I'm about to lap you! <laughs> did it take you to lap him with double the speed counters? Bro, you should have lapped him multiple times by now. I can do this. Just what I needed. Why do you also play a random spell card in your deck? And what kind of turbo duelist banks on the one-off spell card they could have in their up to 60 card deck? I'm activating the speed spell, Gap Storm! What is this? I can only activate Gap Storm when the difference in our speed counters is 10 or more. That's why I slowed down. Now I can destroy every trap and spell card on the field. That's so fucking specific. Oh my god, you say that is so specific. So situational, I'm kind of mad. And you had to draw four cards to find it. Whatever the fuck it does, how does it fix all your problems? Oh, so that means... Say goodbye to your speed booster. Wow, talk about a big time risk actually paying off. How ironic. He might manage to win a game of speed by slowing down. Remember, guys, going fast makes him feel alive, except for in this duel where he keeps going slow. This ain't over. It will be once Nitro's special ability kicks in. And because I activated a spell card on my own turn, my Nitro Warrior gets hooked up with a thousand attack points. And because I did a specific thing, I just win. Fuck you, classic you say. She is about to pull off a major come from behind victory. Oh, fuck me, Jesus, I can't even do it. Please stop. Can't we be friends? No, Hunter, we can't be friends because I'm really attracted to Jack Atlas, so fuck you. It's over! There's just no love for the one-time champion these days. His dream goes up in smoke again! Wow, and now it's a way to rub it in his face, just like how Jack Atlas does. God, isn't Jack cool? Speaking of Jack, I wonder what he thought about the door. Hmm. Thanks, Jack. I understand everything now. Don't think I'll take this loss sitting down, you say. Hunter, you are literally sat down taking the alley. The exact definition of it, actually. I uh, probably should have stood up before I said that. I hate when the anime is self-aware and answers my stupid comments. It's like it knows what I'm thinking. Nothing! Hunter was too weak to bring out Yusei's sign. Well, it takes a lot to make Yusei sweat, okay? Apparently, Little Fire doesn't do it, so if you want to see Yusei's dragon, you're gonna have to give him the Jack Atlas. Because, you know, he'll put up the big D and then you'll get to see Yusei's beast. His next opponent should try breaking him instead of bending him. <laughs> Shh, bizarre. We aren't meant to publicly say what we would like to do to you, say. That's for the unhinged streams. Uh -huh. This tournament isn't just about winning the chance to duel me, is it? What's really going on here? What do you need you, say, to help you do anyway? Oh my god, Jack, they literally said everything out loud in front of you and you're only just understanding? Did you spend the entire duel debating this? All in due time, Jack. All in due time. 
Oh, look, Jack, you wouldn't understand if I did explain, because that's all we've been doing literally this whole time, and if you haven't understood then, you won't understand now. And with a big, ominous Rex Goodwin smirking face looking down on us, another episode of Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds comes to a close. What did we learn? That Hunter likes to go obnoxiously fast, that both Yusei and Hunter run oddly specific spell cards in a turbo duel, and Jack is a fucking idiot. But we love him for it. What did you think of today's episode, Rex? Waiting for my approval. Well, then. <clears throat> yeah, that's. That's valid. The duel's pretty solid as far as duels go. Next episode, we get... Oh, God, no, I don't want to. Please don't make me. Oh, my God, no. It's a Spirit World episode. And if you know me, you know how much I hate the Spirit World episodes. We get a lunar duel to calm things down right as we're nearing the climax of this season. And ah! All right, guys, we've got to call Golden Nova in for this since he enjoys these episodes. God fucking damn it. Well, for now, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, subscribe to help me get to 10k subscribers because we are getting so much closer to it every day. It also cheers me up and makes me able to suffer the spirit episodes, which is for the love of God, a two-parter! For now, I'm going to go fangirl about Jack Atlas because that also makes me happy. Big love to you all and dog champ licks. Ready? Oh, oh and then Jack did what? Oh, and then what? Oh my lord. To fulfill my mission.